Dan Gore has been tipped as the next youngster to break through at Old Trafford. Here is why that breakthrough should come tonight. The midfielder has turned 19 years old today and could be given the best present possible by Eric Ten Hag with a full senior debut in League Cup action. Dan Gore has already been fully integrated into the first team and has featured in the squad for every game this season as he has taken the step up, making only one appearance for the under-21s. He will be hoping to follow in the footsteps of Hannibal Medjbri, who has himself forced his way into being in Ten Hag's first team plans this season. But will he feature tonight as Crystal Palace come to Old Trafford? Here are three reasons why. As Kabi Mainu stole all the headlines in preseason, Gore was another who was quietly making himself hard to miss. In particular, his 45 minutes against Lyon in Edinburgh was incredible as he got his first senior assist. Gore had 42 touches of the ball and completed 26 passes, including one key. He won five duels and was pivotal in helping United build out from the back, which was a far cry from how we've struggled in recent weeks. While in a struggling patch, something had to change, and that something came through Hannibal, but more importantly, the academy. Hannibal's quick integration will have done wonders for Ten Hag's trust in the youth and has potentially paved the way for Gore. Gore himself has been described as the most likely to make an impact in the first team sooner rather than later. So why can't his first team journey begin tonight? Manchester United are in the midst of an injury crisis, which means rotations will be needed against Palace to avoid more injuries. The midfield is a position that we expect will see particular attention, with Casemiro's legs needing to be protected. So assuming Sofian Amrabat comes in for Casemiro, who plays alongside him. Hannibal has been deployed further forward while Christian Eriksen is in the bad books, so it does seem a clear run for Gore. His ball retention and press resistance will be immense under the lights at Old Trafford. We just hope we get a chance to see it. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is set to restructure his offer to buy Manchester United in yet another twist in the takeover saga. The takeover saga drags on at Old Trafford, with yet another bit of news emerging today that Jim Ratcliffe is back in the race. It was reported not long ago by Bloomberg's David Hellyer that Ratcliffe's bid was dead in the water, but now a new turn in proceedings will mean that he could be back in the race. According to Bloomberg, Ratcliffe is planning to completely restructure his bid in an attempt to purchase Manchester United. The British billionaire is working with his advisors to address concerns about the terms of his bid from minority investors in the English Premier League football club, according to the people, who asked not to be identified discussing confidential information. Ratcliffe put forward a proposal earlier this year to acquire 69% of shares in Manchester United owned by the U.S. Glazer family. That left little benefit for holders of the club's remaining stock, so the deal looked more than unlikely to be accepted. The new bid would have to work around this if he stands any chance of competing against Sheikh Jassim if the club actually were to be sold. Will the Glazers even sell? It's been almost a year since the Glazers said they would conduct a strategic review into their ownership of the club. There have been countless updates, bids, and talks, but nothing seems to have gone through. The latest not long ago came from the Mail, which claimed Manchester United will be taken off the market by the Glazers. This restructured bid could intrigue them, however. We'll just have to see what materializes in the coming weeks. The Jadon Sancho saga has seemingly taken yet another twist this afternoon after reports emerged yesterday that the forward was not allowed to interact with the first-team squad. The Manchester United forward had a fallout with Eric Ten Hag, and Sancho has refused to apologize to the Dutchman which has led the club to this sorry state of affairs. Sancho's teammates are also reportedly encouraging the winger to apologize and end the spat with the former Ajax boss, according to the Mirror. That seems unlikely as things stand, and the future of the Manchester United outcast has taken yet another twist. Jaden Sancho has seemingly deactivated his Instagram account amid the growing speculation surrounding the future of the former Borussia Dortmund winger. Sancho's deactivation could mean a lot and also very little at the same time. The winger had received a lot of criticism on social media due to his behavior, so this could be a result of the messages he had received. Sancho's behavior has certainly not been exemplary and has been made to train with the academy players. You wonder what these young players think of one of the highest paid players refusing to end their spat with the manager. Cristiano Ronaldo effectively ended his very popular return to Manchester when he decided to criticize the Dutchman to Piers Morgan during an interview last season. Sancho is seemingly going down a similar path, which is such a shame as it seemed the pair had a rather close relationship last season during the 23-year-old's struggles. 
10 Hag will only allow Sancho back into the first team fold if he apologizes according to the Mirror's report, but that apology does not seem forthcoming. It seems the Englishman will be going down the same road as Ronaldo and will be on his way out of the club in January, similar to the Portuguese striker.